Please halt for your contaminant inspection. Inspecting. 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 No contaminants detected. Oh, there's Bridget. And Chris? What are they doing in there? I can't hear them, but maybe I can lip read. Hmm, seems like Bridget is pretty excited about something. It looks like she's saying... It's unacceptable. Tommy would realize. No matter how much I want to. Oh, Chris is replying. Let's see. Just let your feelings guide you. Anyway, we should get back before people notice. Hmm. Pretty mysterious. Now I wish I'd never skipped those lip reading classes. Hello, Sai. How's it going? Oh, it's been tough, Harold. Every detail has a detail. It's like this filigreed... Oh, uh, it's good you're here, actually. Yeah? What do you need? Well, I'm having a bit of difficulty with a 3D printer. It's leaving gaps everywhere. Oh, okay. Shall I take a look? Yes, please. But I hope you're better with technology than you are with the ladies. Um, I hope so, too. Anyway, see if you and your screwdriver can get this printer its third dimension back. You have to undo the screws first to remove the front panel. Keep going.
you see that hole? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Harold. I couldn't resist. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Sai, was the printer even broken? Maybe, maybe. If it's any consolation, I discovered this little trick the hard way. Ow! Why didn't you just fix it then? Well, where would the fun have been in that? I'm not sure I like your idea of fun. Hmm, funny. Sunny says the same thing to me. But I guess she didn't like your idea of fun either, eh? Ow. Think of it as a wake-up call, Harold. Yeah, a little extra juice. Oh, that reminds me. Moreau asked me to ask you, how are the details coming along? Oh, thanks, Harold. Just like her to ask that. Huh. <laughs> Is it? Um, anyway, see you next time, Sai. Uh, one more thing. What is it, Sai? Could you take Maro a message? I suppose. Is it just gonna be like hers? No, 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 nothing like that. It's something definitely unrelated. So, what's the message? Oh, okay, fine. You got me. Happy? Just tell her procedure smeager and that she puts the why are you in Cyrus. I don't know that's such a good idea. I mean, what is this whole thing about exactly, anyway? She started it! Back in the days, we were both part of the Archive Club. She was always so darn keen to throw away all the rules and invent new archiving procedures. She called it a healthy distrust for calcified mental models. But all it did was stop us ever getting anything done. So, you disagreed about archiving? Precisely. But it was fundamental. I mean, we respected each other's work, but there was this deep difference. And I guess neither of us was willing to budge. So, what did you decide about the archives? That's not important anymore. Come on, man. Sometimes you don't need to reinvent the wheel. Okay. So, no message for her? <sighs> Just tell her I say hi. She'll know what I mean. Okay. Catch you later, Sai. Thank you for traveling with all water. Hey Zoom, what do you know about Filter Frankie? Filter Frankie? Yeah, Frankie, who likes filters. Hence, Filter Frankie. Right, well, I heard he's always mucking about in the filters, digging up all sorts that he sells to Tommy. What I want to know is, why doesn't anyone just go down there and find stuff? Have you ever been down to filters, Alon? Nah, you? I got shown them once. Not very appealing, and technically off-limits. Well then, there we go. 
Who you reckon he or indeed she is then? Well, we can probably surmise he or indeed she isn't really called Frankie. Solid reasoning, Alon. So my guess is he or she could be anyone. Could be you, Alon. Could be you, Zim. Aye. Then uh, there would we be. Down the filters, most like. Aye. Good thing we're not down the filters. I'm just getting comfy. I'm, I'm sorry to bother you again, but I went looking for Mrs. Vandervart, and she was at the harvest office. None news. It's her office. Where else would she be? I know, but it's more who was there with her that I thought, you know, I should mention. What? Who was she with? It looked totally professional. I didn't see anything bad. Just Senor T Tinnerbaum. Ah, uh, what? What's he doing in her office? There's no way he knows enough about energy. If I still had my own hair, it would never have come to this. Tommy, I'm sure it's not like that. I just... You don't understand, Harold, what it's like to get old. But I'll be damned if I'm going to take this lying down. Tommy, I don't think you should, uh, get angry. And you're in on this with me now, Harold. You did the right thing bringing this to me. I'm really sure it's nothing, just a lunch chat. I've just been so busy working on this damned store sign, thinking Bridget would love the ambition, you know? See me as a real go-getter again. But maybe this whole time I should have been showing her signs of my love. I'll bet she knows you- You're absolutely right. We'll modify the sign. Tonight, make it into a great big sparkly neon proclamation of my, nay, our love. A sign she won't be able to miss. A sign to blind that glossy maned Casanova. I mean, I'm not sure that's the sign. Don't doubt it, Harold. This is gonna work. I just feel it. You're in, right? Will you help me save our love? Uh, yeah, uh, I'll try. Knew I could count on you. Let's get to work. I'm gonna go freshen up a little. Might even put on a different outfit now that I think of it. Will you go and look for Bridget for me? My dear Bridget, I'm sorry we haven't been able to spend much time together recently. So I get how you might be attracted to the man machine with the flowing looks of an angel that you call your friend. But I do beg you to give me another chance. Please, Bridget, will you let me back into your heart and take this monument to our love as a sign of my great affection? Tommy, of course I love you, and I would never betray you. I just wanted to give you some space. I saw you working so hard on your new sign, and I just wasn't allowed to tell you. Couldn't tell me what? Oh, what the heck. The ship's facing some issues with the energy budget. I knew you would need a lot of light for your sign, and I just wasn't allowed to tell you. No way we've got an energy problem here. That was it? No helping Tinner Bomb with his spray tan? That was it. No spray tan. I'm so sorry, Buttercupsy. I love you. I love you. Thank you for your help, Harold. I was hoping you'd accept this stone as a thank you. Ah! Oh, no. Moreau won't be happy to hear about this. are you doing? Uh, you know, same old. Yep, same old here too. Energy issues? You heard that, Mr. Busy Ears? 
Ugh, but yes. I mean, we've always got to be careful and efficient. And, you know, this isn't public, but I want to be extra careful right now until we figure out what's going on. Is the station using more energy than it used to? Well, yeah, especially the transportation system. And the damn tubes or tickets never work and just get more expensive all the time anyway. Right. You know, I'm not sure I've ever understood exactly how the energy process works. Gosh, why are you asking me this now? It's not exactly a line answer. Look, if you really want to know, swing by the energy harvest office sometime and I'll break it down for you. Remind me why we can't just reduce the transport system? Huh, I ask myself the same thing. Every time we add some new upgrade or expand it, it eats up more energy. Our production process doesn't get any more efficient. Plus, when we held an anonymous vote about it, the majority of Fedorans said they'd rather have more transport now rather than more energy later. So... I'd better go. Thanks, Bridget. See you, Harold. Got you a message. Oh, thank you, Miss... Zoodle, pleased to make your acquaintance. So, it's from Felix. He says there's something he wants to show you and to expect a secret message soon. Oh, what? Why? I mean, and why couldn't he just have said that to me himself? I don't know. Go ask him. My work here is done. Later's, mister. Thanks. Traveling with all water. You're welcome. Oh, graffiti. What good is asking where is home anyway? Where else are we going to go? Could they just leave some notes around? I wonder if this is the light keepers again, or just someone copying their style. Will they ever reveal themselves? Professor, you're not going to believe this. Why does that not surprise me? The blue rock. It's gone. You found it? You lost it? It was stolen from Tommy's store. This is utterly vexatious, Harold. I know. Oh, and I also got a message from Cyrus for you. Out with it, then. He says... Hi. Hi? Just hi? Yeah, just that. He said you'd know what it means. He's a sly one sometimes. I'll give him that. 
Stubborn as a mule. What's a mule? Oh, don't start, Harold. I've got to think of a comeback. I mean, get some important work done. What should we do? We? I need time to think. Madam CEO, you're going to want to hear this. I'm listening. It's the new boy, ma'am. It's picked up a signal that we have reason to believe originates from Earth. Earth? Have you reverse dated the transmission? We have. It was sent in 2102. So 126 years after we left. Things would have been pretty rock bottom back there by then. Let's hear what was important enough for them to call after us. Maybe it was their final farewell, huh? I hope it's nothing too awkward. Okay, I'll send a copy via... Well, just play it to me. I've got a 1205. But, Mom, it's only 10... And one of those. Okay, playing back now. This is Earth. Earth to the Fedora. Boy, you were sure hope you're all okay. Whoever is still out there. We're not quite sure how to tell you this. Johnston! Cut the damn line! You're live! What? Oh, fudge! Professor, did you hear that strange message? It was hard to miss. It's the first message from Earth. Ever? Certainly in my lifetime, at least. I wonder, what kind of message would a dying civilization speculatively send to a ship that can never return? What do you think it means? It means that the fact Allwater haven't shared it publicly yet means they're thinking about how to turn it to their advantage. What if it's not the first message? Don't be paranoid, Harold. What reason or authority would they have for keeping messages from us? Still, even if they had planned to share it immediately, they look suspicious now. Gosh, that message could be anything. Maybe they've got information for us about our mission. Hmm. Well, what could that information be? If we presuppose... Yes? Oh, it's you. Yes? No. Indubitably. Fine. What? 15% out of the question. Okay, sure. See you shortly. Harold, I want you to come with me. Huh? To where? What? Who was that? Why, it was the CEO of Allwater Corp, of course, asking me to jump. What for? How high? Indeed, Harold, indeed. Well, unfortunately for my bath, she was adamant we went there immediately. She even unlocked our tube tickets for emergency night travel. But why? What does she want with us? Well, we'll soon find out, won't we? Come on, let's not keep Her Highness waiting. Crisis control. We need to get out there ahead of the turn in public sentiment. First move advantage and get this working for us, not against us. Yes. Come in, come in, come in. Now, as you both know, time is of the essence. Sorry, where are my manners? Would either of you like something to drink? Ah, I suppose I might like a coffee? There's really no time for coffee. Time is of the essence. Professor, would you like to sit? No, thank you. I prefer to stand. Oh, a woman of action, I love that. Anyway, we must act. Due to the unfortunate comic incident, we've been forced to move up the schedule. It's imperative we deliver some good news about the start procedure. Hmm. I suppose that wouldn't hurt. To that effect, Professor. And, um, you there. I'll need you to supervise Cyrus directly. We can't afford for any unforeseen delays. Cyrus? He works best undisturbed. The man is a stubborn buffoon, but there's no doubting his thoroughness. Professor, please. It would do this old heart good to know that you were keeping a watchful eye on him. Or maybe your, um, protege here could do it. I'll hang out with, I mean, watch Sai, sure. If it makes you happy, Madame CEO, we'll make sure Cyrus delivers. Great. Music to my ears. Thank you both. You've done all water and the ship a great service. We're ready. Go live. 
and stay on schedule. It's my privilege to announce to you all today that our new boy program has already proven an unmitigated success. We present to you now the full and unedited audio that represents the first incoming message we've received in our lifetimes. Now, before the message plays, I'd like to take a moment to reiterate just how proud we should all be of progress on the new start procedures. It won't be long before we're ready for the first attempt, the latest in a long line of steps on the road to a greater, brighter future for us all. Please enjoy this message brought to you by the All Water Corporation. This is uh, uh, to the Fedora. Boy, we sure hope you're all okay, whomever is still out there. We're not quite sure how to tell you this. Things were pretty rocky here when you left, of course, and, you know, that was a brave move. Probably the right decision at the time. We didn't know whether to even tell you this, but we figured maybe it would give you some comfort way out there in the freezing clutches of deep space. What? Oh, right. Yeah, I guess. Or, I mean, even better, the comforting, warm embrace of a lovely, habitable new planet. Well, we just wanted to let you know that we pulled together down here. The sparrows calmed down, and things pretty much worked themselves out. Life still isn't perfect. Bananas died out. And you've got to be pretty careful around water. But by and large, we're back on track. I've survived. Wish we could send you a postcard. Anyway, be safe, and maybe one day we'll get a hello from you. We'll be listening. What are you all still doing here? Don't you have work or something to do? Scram! Welcome. I am All Water Automated Secretary Number One. How may I assist your All Water related learning? So, what exactly does All Water do? All Water Corporation is dedicated to making the lives of Fedorans easier, more pleasurable, and more sustainable. Major services include regulation of the ship's day night cycle the tube transportation system, organizing the monthly all-water ball, balancing the energy budget, and overseeing the ship's water supply and filtration systems. All Water is also invested in exciting new science initiatives, some or all of which may be strictly confidential at this time. Please check with your nearest All Water Secretary about the status or indeed existence of such initiatives. Can you tell me about the current CEO? CEO Brenna Castlechop began her all-water career at the age of 16. She graduated from her internship to a full-time position after she devised a mathematical theory to reduce the calculations needed to make different electronic systems communicate with one another. These improvements would eventually become the basis for the ship's current internet system, Architected by temporary all water employee, a redacted, codenamed Dr. Computer. 
During this time, the Schlippmeyer family and the Freshwater Clarification Agency were engaged in a dispute over the ship's water supply, the former holding a chemically-based freeze filtration system over the current but outdated machinery. Castlechop wrote a proposal to improve the existing system by overhauling its connected mechanics, which led to all water being able to reject the Schlittmeyer's costly license fees. Her expertise, including her initiative to renew the physical connection between water reservoirs, filtration systems, and the various districts, eventually evolved into the tube transportation system and saw her promoted to sub-chief of the directive branch of operations. She finally became CEO in 13152 AC after widespread pressure throughout the organization on the incumbent CEO, Dr. Rufus Bureaucratze, to finally step down and let the Wonderkind take charge of all water at last. The first tube system routes were unveiled to the public in 12,000. Bye. The All Water Corporation wishes you a pleasant day. Captain at Large Baronhout? Ah, uh, hello. Uh, how are you, uh, um... I'm Harold Halibut, sir. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you are. Harold, tell me, have you ever felt lost? Oh, I always get lost around here. Uh, no, Harold, I mean, feeling like you have no purpose. I know my purpose, but sometimes it doesn't seem very important. You heard the leak, I presume? Yeah, of course. That leak, that one message, it's undone me. If my whole family, this whole mission, the ship, my captaincy at large, <laughs> what if it was all a mistake? Oh, I see. Well, maybe Earth didn't get as bad as people thought it would, but we're still us. And you know, it wasn't us that chose to fly away. I suppose. Speaking of which, have you ever lost someone, Harold? Have you? Yes. Someone important. She's gone, Harold. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. What happened? Coco has taken an... unscheduled leave of absence. Oh, so she's not lost forever? No, I'm sure she'll return eventually. But every moment without her, I spend in longing and despair. Is it anyone I might know? My beloved? Her name is Coco. Oh, not sure I've ever met her. Do you want to see a picture? Coco is a bird. Harold, you're such an understanding sort. Could you try to find her for me? I'd look for her myself, but in these uncertain times, I think it's best I don't leave my post. Are you sure you wanted to be me looking for her? Whatever are you implying? I'm sure you're perfectly capable, I'm, and I'm thoroughly and otherwise engaged. So, about Coco... Yes. Such a loyal first mate. Does she maybe have any favorite hiding places? Hmm. Not that I know of. I did find her once in a broom closet trying to hatch a sea sponge inside my hat. I promise to keep an eye out for her. Oh, Harry, I hope she's okay. I'm not sure she has another friend in the world. Bye.
All water compliments you on your choice of destination. All water, we get you where you're going. Travel in style with all water. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason? Just contact your nearest uh, and all water will make it up to you. Hey, Professor. Oh, are those the new teacups? Come and see for yourself. Oh, I promise I ordered them. Harold, just look. If the Light Keepers could get the rock, and they knew we wanted it, that means that, uh, they must be someone who- Harold, it's late, and we've had enough excitement for one day. Let's leave the theories until tomorrow. Sure. I'm just happy that whoever they are, they're on our side. So it seems for now. Good night, Harold. See you in the morning. Okay. Night, Professor. Whoever made that leak must be feeling pretty terrible right now. I'm glad it wasn't me messing up for once. Let's see what tomorrow brings. <laughs>